going to be a more complex kind of pattern. So I'm going to get my image, drag it on, make it a little bit smaller just so that I can maneuver it a bit more. So always pulling from the corner, never pulling from there because it will distort. Okay, so corner. Right, I'm going to chop all the parts of this down into quarters and rearrange it so that I can make a tessellated pattern that looks a bit like this with some kind of pattern within it. So you can see how different it is from my basic repeat or my flip mirror repeat. It's got the style of the basic pattern, but also I've got this image that has gone through it. It's like when you create wallpaper. Okay, so I've got this image and I want to slice it down the middle. So I am going to do that by going on the crop image tool here. And I'm going to, where you've got that little black mark there, I'm gonna pull it into the middle there. Okay, so it's cropped in the middle. I need the other half of it back though. So I'm going to copy and paste over the image. And if I go to crop this one, so this is a crop image one up here, then it will allow me to see the whole image again. There we go. So instead of keeping that side, I'm gonna use the little black pulleys, pull it back so that I've got that whole image again, but then get rid of the left hand half there. So I've got the image cut in two pieces now, but instead of putting it back like that, I'm gonna flip them around to either side backing each other. Okay. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to cut off the top part and pop it on the bottom. So this is a bit trickier, and especially because we're using Google Slides and not an image editor. I'm gonna click on this one, go back up to the crop image, and I'm just gonna pull using the black crop mark down to the middle there. Okay, click off that. And I'm going to copy that image again, paste it up here, it's staying down there. And I am going to open up again the crop and you can see that I can still see the rest of the image. So I'm just gonna move that because I want the top part of it back in. Bring that to the middle there. Okay, so I'll just leave that there for now, broken, and I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other side here. So crop, down, hit to the middle, click off the screen, or click off onto the slide. You want to copy and paste this again, so right click, copy, right click, paste. Just move it up here for now. Back onto crop, and I'm going to, ah, see I can't see the top of my image. Can I scroll that up a little bit? Ooh, nope. Let's start that again. I'm going to move that down there. So, crop. Okay, I'm going to move that up. Down. Crop. So I've got it split in half now. So now I want to move these two pieces down the bottom here. So if I just go there, I'm off the slide again. So what I should probably do is maneuver all this back to the middle. So if I just reopen up again my original image, you'll see the difference now of how this appears to how it was. Okay. So you can see these two bits now are sitting down the bottom and this part now is over that side. Okay, let's get rid of that. So if I can move these a little bit close to get rid of the lines, I can oh, not do that. I can use my arrow key to just move them over just a little bit more. Although that's created a slightly different, actually maybe I'll get rid of that and just leave, be happy with the line. Okay. So I've got this block like that. I'm going to 
select the whole thing and group them together. So right click and group. Okay, so what I can do now is I can create some kind of a pattern in the middle, as long as it doesn't touch any of the edges. And that's gonna be the part that would be like um, the, like the design that goes through it. So what I might do first of all, before I do anything else though, is I might change the colour to make it a bit more even, so it's not just like the colour of my photo. So on that, I need to make sure that my image is selected and click on Format Options. And here, there's something called Recolour. So I can look on that and I can choose any one of these. I can be happy with that. Or I might think, right, okay, I'm gonna to go to Adjustments underneath Recolour. Maybe I'll try and up the contrast a bit or make it a bit brighter, something like that. Don't have to do any of those, I could have just left it how it was. Okay, so I want to draw a little pattern in here. So I've got up here, um, I've got lines, arrows, connectors, but I've also got a scribble tool here, or this curvy line. So the scribble tool is quite nice because I could do like the trail of the flight path of my bug. So I could go from one through to the other, round up, down through into that bug. Okay, and click off there. You see how that looks. I might try another scribble on this bug. Make it smaller and goes round to that one. Okay, do I bother with another one here? I'm not sure. You could try other things. There's like the curved line. If you see, I just have to click, 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 click click and it creates a curved line and then I can click it off. Um, but also up here there's shapes so I could put in some geometric shapes. Um, uh, I quite like the stars that are in here so I'm going to try if I just build the star first on the side I can see about putting that right in the middle. I could change the inside colour of the shape as well by going on the fill colour up here, the paint bucket, and choosing something else. So maybe I'm going to do the complementary colour of blue, which is a nice kind of like bright orange. Yeah. And maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try another shape in there just to add a bit of colour. What could I add? Hmm. Maybe just a plain old circle, a few circles. Let's build it here. Do I want to change the colour? Maybe, make it yellow. Pop it on there. I could always copy and paste a few of these. Copy, paste, and move them around. Have them random. I could use my keyboard shortcut of Control V to paste a few of them. Possibly move them around. Make it random. Okay, so now I need to select all of that together. So I'm highlight everything all together, right click and then group. So it stays as one unit. And I'm going to make it smaller so that I can start repeating it. So I'm gonna pop it in this top corner and I am gonna go right click, copy, right click, paste, and there it is, okay and I'm going to do that a few more times, so paste, 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 and can you see how the bug has reformed? Okay, if I want to speed it up even more, I can just copy the whole lot of that now, and then go right click, copy, right Click, paste, and drag that section over. Then if I want to save even more time, I could try and highlight the whole lot again. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Remember, you could do any of these things with keyboard shortcuts as well. So it'd be control C to copy, control V to paste. And I've got a fantastic 
psychedelic wallpaper print that I could put up in my living room. Mm. 